The Antichrist A Biblical Interpretation Drawn from the Biblical books of Daniel, Thessalonians and Revelation Following a mass repudiation of Christianity, God will allow a political leader to arise in the Middle East, who will deny that the true God be the Father and the Son. Christians call him the Antichrist. Antichrist will not respect the laws of God or of men, and he will work destruction upon those who oppose him. Antichrist will receive his ideas from lying demonic spirits, and men devoid of conscience will propagate his ideas. Populations will abandon biblical teaching, and they will approve of Antichrist, who approves of their immoral passions. Antichrist will pronounce outrageous statements against the biblical God, and will promulgate new laws and a new calendar. During a period of three and a half years, Antichrist will harass to death both Jews and Christians, and he will make it illegal for them to conduct business. Antichrist will promote worship of his own person. A false prophet, who has power to kill, will require everyone to worship images of Antichrist. However, God will cause a severe skin disease to attack Antichrist and all who receive his mark in their body and worship his image. When Egypt, Europeans and Asians attack Antichrist, he will ravage several countries, slaying tens of thousands, and will invade Israel. Libya and Sudan will join with Antichrist in stripping Egypt of its wealth, and he will spare the Kingdom of Jordan. Antichrist will set up palatial tents east of Jerusalem, from whence he will coordinate a massive invasion of Israel from surrounding nations, gathering their armies at Armageddon. Suddenly, Messiah Jesus will bodily return to earth at the Mount of Olives, accompanied by myriads of angels. Jesus will kill Antichrist, the false prophet, and many warriors, then cast them into hell.